All right. Yes. Don't even. Hey. Don't even go to the comments. Don't even go to type nothing. All right. I know it's been a little bit. It's been a little while. But listen. Perfectly valid excuse. I said I'd come back when I got a PC. Got a PC. We're back. We're back. As you can see, the vector's looking a bit different than the last time you saw them. All right. The name's looking a bit different. The drip's looking a bit different. I'm a bit different. The game's a bit different. But one thing remains. All right. I am still the best vector oh my God, on the planet. Bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, boy. Debatably. Metaphorically, of course. Can you get your goddamn ugly ass on? Um, I don't really have a plan for today. I didn't even, uh, I didn't, I don't even think I set up a script. Yeah, no, there's no script at all. I'm probably, I'm gonna cue experimentals and I'm gonna talk a lot. Anyways, I guess it's only fair that I address, uh, I guess stuff that's happened in between the last time you've seen me and now. Started streaming. I also quit streaming. I also started streaming again. It's been, it's been good over on Twitch. Got affiliate and all that stuff. It's, it's very fun. You know, I, I really miss YouTube because editing, editing is like my favorite process of content creation. The only thing I don't like about Twitch is the fact that I can't like edit stuff. Now that I'm back over here on YouTube, I can start, you know, digging into that again, throwing in funny sounds. And um, I really, really was not prepared for this. I opened OBS, hit start recording with zero thoughts in my brain. And here we are. That's not a bad thing. I don't feel like on the topic of content creation, I decided I don't really want to just stick to Brawl. Obviously, I have like a base on Brawl, like an audience on Brawl. Not a great, like big one, but you know, somewhat of one. So I'll probably stick as like, you know, stick, stick, <laughs> stick to it as my main game. But I do want to branch out, um, you know. But yeah, obviously, I've gotten a lot better over the uh, over the course. Now, you know, last time I posted, I think I was like 2K, maybe 2100 now. Now I'm like 20, 22 and a half. So basically, uh, DCX winner. This Ragnar is really, really maneuvering. I didn't even see what rank he was. Probably flat. Probably getting cooked by a flat player right now. Vector Tech. I'm pretty sure, like not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I invented Vector Tech. Let's be real. If you don't know what Vector Tech is, let me show you, bro. This, Vector Tech. This, Vector Tech. Uh, what's some more Vector Tech? Spamming Insig, even though it doesn't hit. I take it back. Vector tech. My favorite vector tech, actually. Down sigging and only down sigging. This is exclusive vector. Ve ve damn. Vector tech. No one else does this. You'll never see another vector do this. I'm, I'm exclusively the owner of this tech. This shouldn't even be called vector tech. This should be called berserk tech. I made this. I'm a proud owner, too. See that? It doesn't ever. It only fails sometime. I think it's pretty reliable. I think it'll carry me in tournaments. Speaking of tournaments, I want to top two. Th top, top, damn. I want to top 32 this year. I feel like I can. I mean, as I'm getting cooked by a plat. That's fine, though. Plats are better than uh, tournament competitors. Trust. I feel like the skill of plats is very underrated because they be maneuvering in very mysterious ways, hitting some nefarious attacks. Like, who would have saw that coming? That side sig? Sandstorm wouldn't have seen that coming. Wait, I'm actually gonna... Anyways, as far as other games go, might post uh, some some Black Ops when it comes out. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw, but, but the next next COD game is coming out. It's gonna be a Black Ops game. You know, y'all don't know this about me. I was really a, I was really a Black Ops sniper back in the day. I was hitting them trick shots, bro. Back in like BO2, back in BO3, prime Call of Duty, prime of life. To be honest, if you guys weren't you guys weren't sniping on Black Ops back in the day, what were you doing? I think I think BO2 is like my favorite Call of Duty of all time. It was so well rounded. BO3 had the best zombies. BO2 undoubtedly the best multiplayer. Some people say Modern Warfare. 2 and Modern Warfare 3, but like, come on, like, PO2, let's be real. Like, Nuketown, Hijack, that's prime life, bro. I love trick shotting. I still have, like, some trick shots saved on my Xbox. I might post those, like, shorts. Like, oh my goodness. Catwalk 720 in 2024. Absolutely wicked titles. Should I post YouTube shorts? Would you guys, listen, would you guys follow me on TikTok if I posted TikTok? And be honest. Is that a good idea? Is this comp? Vector tech. Is that meta? Is TikTok meta? Would you guys watch me if I streamed on TikTok? Because I know a lot of people do that. I think that'd be a good idea. Branch out content wise. As far as like, I guess overall content, bro, I think my end goal is become a creator that people watch specifically when they're eating. That is the best type of creator, in my opinion. I want to be the go-to. I want to be the go-to creator you watch while you eat. That's a really good position to be because you know you're going to get viewer attention because when people are eating, they're too busy eating food to change the video. So they're going to click on the video and then they're going to watch the whole video, which is W viewer retention, as well as like, I feel like it's a more personal connection with the audience. I don't want to be like too personally connected, but like, I want to feel like we're just having a conversation over a calm plate of food and you whip out the, the chicken tenders and the ranch, you throw on a video and it's like, we're just talking over some food. Because it, it fuels my addiction uh, to yapping. That's pretty much it. I love to yap. 
as you uh, as you can tell by the by the amount of yapping I'm doing in this video alone. I have no plans at all. I'm just gonna sit here, yap until I'm bored, edit it, post it, repeat. I'll probably do two videos today and then just post the uh, post the next one tomorrow. So much I love editing. You know what they say? Don't do something if you don't like it, unless it's drugs. Don't do drugs, even if you do like it. Or, okay, I guess assault and battery. Never mind. Just because you like something doesn't mean do it. I don't know where I was going with that, honest. Definitely did not go the route I wanted it to. But in terms of profession, let me get motivational with y'all. Let me give y'all some life, life advice. In terms of motivation, don't chase a career because of money, because of what somebody else wants you to do. Chase a career because you want to do it, all right? If you're not passionate, then you're not going to be successful. Life advice with Berserk, all right? That's quote of the day, all right? Think about that. When you when you click off this video, when you get done eating and you click off this video after you've liked and subscribed, of course, I want you to think, what, what am I doing? Dang, dang y'all. Calm down. I'm trying to I'm trying to talk. Bro. Think, what am I doing? Once you think about that, think about the next thing. Do I enjoy what I'm doing? And that, if the answer is no, then maybe reevaluate you know yo this guy's good if you if you're chasing becoming a lawyer or a doctor make sure that's what you want to do because if you don't it's not going to be worth sure the money is cool but what's the point if you're not happy don't do something just because another person wants you to do it do it because you want to do it unless of course as previously mentioned it is drugs or assault and battery don't do those things man this this brand is really good at the game i'm i did not i didn't think i was going to cue somebody good in experimentals that's why i cued experimentals i'm too scared to yap and play at the same time so that's why i that's why I cued experimentals, because I can't I can't yap and play ranked. I'm just going to be super duper silent. If y'all want that, hey, if y'all want that type of gameplay, just let me know. Comment down below. You know, I want to see some comp gameplay. I want to see something I can, uh, you know, learn from. If you're a lower rank and you want to learn, just tell me. I'll make a comp video. It's just going to be super duper quiet and awkward. And I'm going to be sitting here, like, sweating my eyeballs out and not yapping at all. And what's the point of a, of a YouTuber that you watch while you eat if he doesn't yap? That's a key component. I have a degree in yapology. I'm a yapologist. Dr. Berserk. PhD of Yapology. Why did I? Yeah, why is he winning? I can't. Yo. Anyways, uh, another fun fact about this video. I don't know what I'm gonna edit it with because as of the time of me recording this, I don't have an editing software installed. So I'm gonna panic install one, probably CapCut, and edit this with that. And hopefully it turns out. Hopefully it turns out good. Bad idea. Not a good scene. Wait, I'm not vector teching. Well, I guess I'm gonna die before I vector. Oh, rip. Save me. Okay, fine. But yeah, I'm gonna probably play one more. Like I said, there was no script for this. Just a whole lot of yet. On to the next guy. Hopefully he doesn't dog on me like that Bryn did. That was kind of embarrassing. I didn't even stand a chance, really. It's weird. I didn't even know who he was. Like, I didn't recognize him. This guy is P.D. Petums. Okay, let's see what he's talking about. Wicked. All right, we're already missing true combos. I can, yeah, thank God. I don't know if you guys are into, like, anime or anything, but I've been looking at solo leveling because a lot of people are talking about solo leveling. It looks like a show that I would be into, but I haven't actually, like, sat down and watched it. So if anybody in the comments has, please let me know if it's worth watching. Also, I haven't I haven't even slept. I'm not going to lie. To be fair, I did wake up at the egregious, nefarious, absolutely abysmal uh, time of 9 o'clock p.m. yesterday. So I guess it's fine that I haven't slept as I woke up so late. My sleep schedule is absolutely like terrible it's it's not good i did a uh i did a last to leave challenge and like last to leave vc challenge and the and the enemies discord which uh if you're not in get in it solid discord but um they're last to leave and i won but at the cost of staying up for like a full 30 something hours so when i went to sleep it was like morning time and then i woke up at night time and then um that pattern kind of just continued so now we're here with this egregious sleep schedule but i feel like here's the thing i feel like it gives me a competitive advantage at, in, in rank because i'm playing at full capacity at like you know 3 4 a.m against people who probably probably haven't slept in a while because it's 3 4 a.m so they're not at full capacity wrong sick so i feel like i have a slight advantage because i'm going to be more aware i'm going to have more reaction time because they're probably tired and then you know i'm also going to be up at that like seven o'clock eight o'clock area which is when people are first getting up so if people are waking up and be like hmm let me cue rank they're going to be i guess three match i guess they're going to be like you know they're going to be all tired and stuff just like the the 3 and 4 a.m people and i'm going to be perfectly awake so that's comp like that's a comp sleep schedule man the longer this goes on the more i realize i probably should have wrote a script but that's like that's so boring though because like i don't want to know what i'm gonna say i want to keep it a surprise that way it's fun it's got like it's got to be fun for me too right like i know i'm trying to entertain people but i want to entertain myself as well ladies lancing me Ugh. Ugh. 
It's like inverted burped. But yeah, no, I like being surprised. Why are you jumping on Lance? You have Lance. You know I'm gonna read for jumps if you're jumping. Guys, if you wanna beat Lance, if you're like, you know, if you have a mental thing against Lance or you struggle against Lance, I'm gonna give you all the sauce. Lance mains don't want you to know this. Coslix is gonna hate me. Ready? Don't jump till you beat Lance. Unbind your jump button. Because look, when I'm going for sidelight dare, I literally like muscle memory jump, like jump read. He didn't do it that time, but I muscle memory jump read every, every low tier player or not even low tier, even like high tier players. He's not doing it anymore. I think he noticed, but every like low, low tier players mainly. And then some high tier players, even when they're panicking, will just panic jump after dare or after like downlight for no reason either. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me because I've talked to some players like, yeah, it feels like all I can do is jump. It's like the one thing I can do is play horizontally and you're giving me a more horizontal op. I could have finished him off there, but what, pause. I could have took his stock there, but I was going for a fancy clip and it didn't work. I was gonna like fall and then stare him into the barnacle and then like ground pound him or something, but he was too cool for me. Jeez. I wanna get a double three stock. I wanna see if I can do it twice. But yeah, guys, don't jump against Lance. I'm countering myself right now. I'm putting it out there and more people are gonna like start learning. So really I'm like hurting myself, but I'm doing it for you guys, anything for you guys. Just stop jumping. And also vector sigs, like the thing is, even his sigs read for jumps. Well, not like all of them, but both of his neutral sigs read for jumps. If I like hit a, I'll try to show you, like hit like a side light or a neutral. Oh, dang, didn't get it. So I play like a side light or a down light. A lot of the times I'll just neutral sig after because they're going to jump into it or dodge into it either way. Vector tech. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed whatever this was. To be honest, uh, I don't even know if this will be posted. I'm probably going to go back and look at this and be like, dang, what am I doing? But um, if it is, if it is posted, hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you like it. If you do like it, wait, enjoy and like me the same thing. Either way, I hope you, uh, 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 thank Either way, if you like it, like it and subscribe if you're new, please. Thank you. And um, probably going to go live after this sometime soon. I'll, I'll have my Twitch in the bio. Y'all could come check me out on Twitch. Got more followers on Twitch. So I'll try to, you know, mix and match. Get the Twitch people over here. Get the YouTube people over there. But um, yeah, link will be in the bio, top of the bio. Uh, sorry for disappearing again. I'll try not to do that anymore. Now that I have a PC, it will be easier to not disappear. But yeah, guys, it's been me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night or morning or afternoon. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't know when that will be, but yeah, bye.